Hi everyone, today I'll be giving a brief review of Amtrak's Empire Service, which connects western and central New York to the downstate region. The service follows the water level route of the former New York Central Railroad, tracing the path of the historic Erie Canal and sharing a corridor with the New York State Thruway. US Route 20 and State Route 5 follow this path from Buffalo to Albany. A week before my trip, Amtrak sent me an email and an automated phone call that parking at the Buffalo to Pew station would be limited due to what I assume would be holiday-related travels. Extra parking and a shuttle to the station would be available at the Millennium Hotel in Chictawaga. I called the hotel a few days before my trip and was told that, if not booking a room at the Millennium, I would have to reserve a space at sleepparkfly.com. Interestingly, when I searched for parking near the Buffalo airport, the Millennium did not show up as a result. I was stressed. I thought I might have to pay for parking at the airport and take an Uber or Lyft to the station. Fortunately, I was able to find parking. The main area where I've parked in the past was full, but there were a few more spots tucked away by the other side of the station building. Due to the parking fluster, I was over an hour early to catch the train. Amtrak says you should arrive to the station at least 30 minutes prior to your train's scheduled departure. Longer if you have checked baggage. But this is a smaller station, and the Empire service is carry-on only. This is a good time to remind you that I thought to do this video at the last minute and used my smartphone for a camera, so some of the footage is shaky. Outside the station, we can see a taxi stand and a bus stop for the NFTA Metro. At the time of producing this video, the route, 46, travels between Lancaster and Chictawaga, where other connections are available. You could use this to catch most trains at the station throughout the day, but you would need alternative transportation if you wanted to take the earliest Empire service train, which departs Buffalo around 4.30. Going into the station, we see restrooms, a ticketing and information desk, vending machines, and an ATM among an ample amount of seats for a station of this size. The vending machines seem to have higher prices than most, but the coffee machine's prices were okay. I had a small white chocolate cappuccino and a small hot chocolate while I waited as more people trickled in to catch the train. Before long, the sun was rising and the train arrived at the station. Unlike my previous experiences, the conductor from my car asked us for our names before boarding, rather than scanning our tickets on board. Perhaps this was because the train arrived a few minutes early? The longer boarding time would then make up for this and keep the train on schedule. The Exchange Street station in downtown Buffalo was recently rebuilt with high-level platforms, while the station in Depew still has low-level platforms, requiring you to step up into the train. Each coach car has a bathroom and a larger accessible bathroom, but I'll save the tour for another time. I walked forward to find a seat. Buffalo to Pew is the third stop on the route traveling downstate, but the cars are still fairly empty at this point, giving you plenty of seat choices. Along the way though, you may have to give up the seat beside you to another passenger during busy travel periods. Amtrak's coach seats are, for the most part, comfortable. They provide more legroom than an economy airplane seat, are 2x2, two two, so no middle seats, and they recline a decent amount. Longer distance trains for overnight passengers add more legroom, a foot rest, and an extending leg rest, and I think they recline a bit more. Along with two 120 volt AC electrical outlets, each seat has an individual reading light. For the trip between Buffalo and Albany, the train passes through many wooded rural areas. There are also freight trains that pass by on the other side. The scenic part of the journey starts in the capital region. Sitting on the right side of the train, you get views of the Hudson River as you travel downstate. You may even see a freight train on the other side of the river. Does anyone have any more information about this? Feel free to leave a comment if you're a knowledgeable rail fan. Last time I traveled, I didn't take too many pictures of the train, but one leg of my trip was in business class on the Empire service. Business class, shared with the cafe car on this route, has two by one seating, one seat on the left side and two on the right with red leather seats that also included a footrest, leg rest, and a middle armrest in the two-seat section. Business class also includes complimentary soft drinks from the cafe. The cafe, as with food and drink services on airlines, is overpriced, but it has become somewhat of a ritual for me to enjoy a mini bottle of liquor, $8 to $9, a dry refrigerated turkey sandwich, $9, and a Coke, $2.75, while taking the train. I know, I need to do better. Poughkeepsie is the northern end of the MT8 Metro North Railroad's Hudson Line, which runs south to Grand Central Terminal, making more frequent stops than Amtrak. When alighting in Penn Station, that's the opposite of boarding, 
Signs and arrows on the platform direct you to the new Moynihan train hall, as an attempt to make up for the atrocity of demolishing the original Penn Station and replacing it with a cramped concourse underneath Madison Square Garden. Watch some other videos if you're into that kind of stuff. I unfortunately did not want to wait in lines and went up an escalator that took me to the old Penn Station. I don't mind it though. In 2020, before my first experience with Amtrak, I took the Long Island Railroad for the first time and ended up in Penn Station. It was confusing, and at the same time, I was amazed seeing all the suitcases rolling by, hearing the boarding announcements, and feeling like I was in an airport terminal underground. If you make this mistake and want to experience Amtrak and the Long Island Railroad with more breathing room, you can exit to 8th Avenue and cross the street to get to Moynihan Train Hall. Remember to stand to the right on escalators so busy New Yorkers can rush by you on the left. That's what you're supposed to do. If you alight to Moynihan Train Hall, you'll come up one of these escalators. It's a much better experience if it's your first time in New York. If you enjoyed this video, please consider donating so that I can continue to make more videos like it.